Hi, I'm Owen from EQP TV and I'm here with Winter Phyllis. So, how has the past year been for Winter Phyllis? Good, thanks. Very good, yeah, it's been very productive, hasn't it? So it's been very quiet, actually, for us in, in terms of live performances. We spent a lot at the beginning of the year writing and recording a new album, so that took, what, January until it took, yeah, July? Yeah, we pretty much didn't do much for the first half of the year because we were just getting the album prepared. Um, we played, I think, twice in, 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 the, in the first six months of the year because we were just concentrating on recording. Um, so we finished writing it in pretty much in April. Yeah, April, May. And recorded throughout uh, May in Skyhammer Studios with Chris Fernie. Um And yeah, just got that all, all done. And then um, that's only come out four weeks ago. Four weeks ago. Four weeks ago. Yeah, so, so, so now it's shows. <laughs> the album comes out and now we play lots of shows. This is probably only the, the fourth show we played this year? Yeah, fifth something show like that. Yeah. We haven't played very much, so. Yeah. It's good to kind of come out and play some of the new songs and to get to bring some of the, the songs that people will be starting to get into, you know, to a live environment and things like that. So, yeah, really, really great, really positive. There are certain stereotypes that um, go along with black metal artists, uh, but Winterfell don't seem to apply those to the band. Um, was this natural for you, or did you just go out of your way to do something different? I don't know if we went out of our way to do something different. I just think that. If you think about who we are, we are four guys from England, it's 2014, there's lots and lots of, of black metal bands that have been doing corpse paint and spikes and nails and pulley belts and trying to sound like Scandinavian black metal for 20, 30 years and it, it, didn't, it doesn't feel right, it didn't feel right for us to kind of try and parody that and try and do something that been done to death to be honest. It, yeah. it wouldn't really be real, would it? You know, it's like, so. it's, it was real for those guys back in the early nineties and the late eighties when they when they that genre was first starting and that was that was new and fresh and that's what you know it's been it's been done to death since then and, and, and the classic bands that do it really well great but that's not us, you know, we started in two thousand and seven well like, like Chris says we're four guys from Manchester and you know doesn't that kind of um, aesthetic doesn't really um, just doesn't really work with what we do? So you know, it's not to say there's anything wrong with that. We love all those types of yeah, bands. You know, we listen to that type of music. Um, just just for right now, you know, the, the social setting that we're in now, the kind of the political, the social, the musical, the environmental, I don't know, landscape that we're in doesn't, to me, being no. around from England, warrant us doing that kind of thing. Yeah. You know, a lot of their lyrics and a lot of their themes are about Satanism and nihilism and extremism and anti-Christianity and anti-religion and all these sorts of things. And I think that when you think about what the Phyllis songs are, you know, I've said it in music before though, we, I almost feel like we're pariahs of black men a little bit in the sense that we don't sing about, sing about negative stuff like that. It's about more serious stuff. I don't know, like socio-political issues, about um, wars that are going on, about all, all that kind of... On a broader macro political stuff, as opposed to you know hating Satan or to hate God and being in love with Satan or whatever, you know, it just it doesn't um, doesn't quite ring true for us. So it'd be it'd be silly for a band like us who, who you know venerate the natural landscape and, and talk about um, you know modern politics um, and the socio political sphere of existence at the moment to wear corpse paint. It'd have nothing to do with you know those subjects. So. And, like, yeah, like Sam said, that was their reaction to their situation, and I don't think that's relevant for us now. And I think if we want to be a British black metal, a British black metal band, and try and uh, stick our heads above the water, being that, then we have to do it in our own way, not in the way that it's been done. So if that makes us a bit different, great. If people think we're not as black metal as we could be because of it. Well, that's their problem.